Here on the Lexicon pregame show, we will step aside for 30 seconds and then come back with the starting lineups. This is Arkansas Tech Basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Duval's affordable, portable buildings, the River Valley's oldest full-service portable buildings dealer. You'll find Burnett affordable buildings and CNH carports for garages, barns, carport jets, and more. At Duval's affordable, portable buildings, they believe in high quality buildings that last and excellent customer service that makes a difference. Visit Duval's affordable, portable buildings on or just on Box 4151 South Arkansas Avenue in Russellville today. These are the starters for our guests from Searcy, the Harding Bisons, seven and nine overall, four and six in the Great American Conference under the direction of first year head coach Weston Jamison. Jamison played point guard for the Bisons from 2010 through 2014. His 474 assists are fourth most in Harding men's basketball history. And now he takes over for his former head coach, Jeff Morgan, who is now the director of athletics at Harding and is retired after a phenomenal 30 year season, 30 careers, 30 season career at Harding. Coach Morgan won 449 games with the Bisons, fourth most among men's college basketball coaches in the history of the state of Arkansas. The starters for Harding at the guards, it is Bram Harris, a 6'5 senior from Maumelle and a transfer from UAPB. Harris averaging 11.1 points, 5.1 rebounds. Keelan McBride, 5'11 sophomore, Jonesboro, 11.7 points, 1.9 rebounds, 4.3 assists. Sam Henderson, 6'1", senior, Fort Worth, Texas, 11.6 points, 3.8 rebounds, 2.3 assists. And Riley Marshall, 6'1", sophomore, BB, 14.7 points, 3.1 rebounds. The forward for Harding is Sam Smith, a 6'7", senior from Gurdon. Smith averaging 11.3 points and 7.1 rebounds. Now the starters for the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys, 12 and four overall, eight and two in the GAC. Mark Downey in his eighth season as the head men's basketball coach at Arkansas Tech has a record of 122 and 90 in 17 seasons as a head coach overall. Coach Downey is 288 and 196. Nathan Kennedy is the assistant coach. Brent Bennett is the graduate assistant and the character coach is Chris Russell. Starting at the guards, Taylon Peter, six foot four junior, Russellville, 19.6 points, 5.3 rebounds, 2.1 assists, and 2.3 steals. Cade Schaefer, six foot junior, Russellville, 7.1 points, 1.6 rebounds, 3.1 assists. And Cassius Brooks, a six foot junior from Chicago, Illinois, 11.7 points, 3.6 rebounds, 2.9 assists, and 1.8 steals. The forwards for Arkansas Tech are Tommy Camerad, a six foot eight junior from Buford, Georgia, 11.8 points, 4.3 rebounds, and making just his second start of the year, Sean Cobb, a six foot seven junior from Williamston, Michigan, 4.9 points and 3.6 rebounds per game. This has been the Lexicon pregame show. Lexicon can help you reach your goals and success. Go to Lexicon dash inc.com slash football to learn more from the Alathus Realty broadcast position. We pause for two minutes and then come back for the opening tip. This is Arkansas Tech basketball on the EAB Sports Network. A solid roof for your business is key to keeping your employees, products, and valuables dry and clean. If you're experiencing roof leaks that are resulting in damaged equipment, stained ceilings, and walls, and don't let Mother Nature get the best of your business. EF Roofing offer free commercial roof inspections, but their experience is priceless for your business. Not to lose productivity and extend the life of your roof. So contact EF Roofing today for a free commercial inspection at 479-272-4069. Beltner's Athletes Corner Clearance Sale is up to 30% footwear from Nike. If you don't make it, you just don't make it. Everybody ain't champion. But I am.
your business from the sidelines or making life better with smoother, convenient, and flexible financial solutions, we've got your back. to business and life. We'll take care of the rest. First State Bank. Liberty Car Wash in Russellville, you have options. You can wash your car yourself or your car. with you at Tucker Coliseum in Russellville and the Alathus Realty broadcast position as we get ready for the 153rd men's basketball meeting between Arkansas Tech and Harding. One thing about this Bisons program, they've had their struggles in recent years as they've suffered through six consecutive losing seasons, but they've always been able to score the basketball and it's no different this year. Harding fourth in the league in scoring offense at 75.6 points per game. They're also top six in the league in field goal percentage, fifth in the conference in both three-point field goal percentage and three-pointers made. They average almost eight makes per game from beyond the arc. The struggle for Harding in recent years, the thing they know that they'll have to get turned around if they want to return to the upper echelon of the Great American Conference is on the defensive end. The Bisons 11th among the 12 members of the GAC in scoring defense, they allow over 78 points per game. They're 10th in the league in field goal percentage defense. They've allowed their opponents to shoot 47% from the field. And they're also bottom three in the league in rebound margin and turnover margin. So they struggle to create those extra possessions. The Wonder Boys, meanwhile, have done it with a combination of defense and three-point shooting. Arkansas Tech leads the conference, ranks 12th in the nation in three-point field goal percentage. And the Wonder Boys also lead the conference in their top 25 in the country in scoring defense. Sean Cobb, against Sam Smith for the opening tip. It is controlled by Arkansas Tech, and Cade Schaefer brings it into the front court, guarded on the right side by Keelan McBride. Pass to the top of the keeper, Taylor Peter. Now back to Cade. Hands it off to Tommy Camerad. Pass right wing for Cassius Brooks. Across back to Schaefer. 15 on the timer. Camerad slips the screen. Schaefer drives. Pass for Brooks. Right corner three. Good! Cassius Brooks rattles it home from the right side. And with 19.37 to go in the first half, a great start for the Wonder Boys. Into the front court comes Keelan McBride, guarded by Cade Schaefer. You have to wonder what Cade Schaefer Taylor Peter and then Trey Allen think when they see Keelan McBride. And that's because it is Keelan McBride who is largely responsible for handing them a loss in the 2020 Class 5A state tournament. Three-pointer good from the right side by Riley Marshall. McBride had 19 points in Jonesboro's 67 to 58 win over Russellville at Cyclone Arena in the state tournament four years ago. Cade Schaefer and Taylor Peter saw their high school basketball careers come to an end with that loss and they get a chance tonight and for another year or so to get a little more revenge on Keelan McBride. Layup no good for Sean Cobb and the defensive rebound controlled by Sam Smith. Bison's into the front court. McBride dribbles out high, gives it up for Bram, Bram Harris. Harris a transfer from UAPB where he appeared in 51 games and made 25 starts at the Division I level the last two years. Three-pointer no good this time for Riley Marshall. Defensive rebound controlled for Arkansas Tech by Sean Cobb. 18-21 to go in the first half. We're tied at three. Riley Marshall has a three-pointer for the Bisons. And Cassius Brooks has a three-pointer for the Wonder Boys. Drive by Schaefer, gets to the rim. Left-handed layup good for Cade Schaefer. He's got two points. 18-08 remaining in the first half. And the Wonder Boys regain the lead at five to three. Arkansas Tech averages 74 points per game, fifth in the league in scoring. Top of the key with the basketball, Sam Henderson. Henderson had 14 points and six rebounds in their win over Northwestern Oklahoma State on Saturday. The Bisons defeated the Rangers 83 to 75. Pass into the corner for Sam Henderson. Back out to the left side for Riley Marshall. Fakes right, goes left. Passes in the corner for Henderson. Two to shoot. Henderson drives the baseline. Can't get the runner to go. Can't draw iron even. And it's a shot clock violation against the Bisons. Tommy Camerad throws it into Cade Schaefer, and the junior from Russellville will bring it up. Cade appearing in his 43rd game as a Wonder Boy, had a career-high eight assists in the win over Southwestern Oklahoma State on Saturday. 
He also had 14 points in that game. Sean Cobb back Sam Smith down, jump hook with the right hand, no good, fight for the rebound, and it is Sam Smith who gets it for Harding University. Keelan McBride into the front court. McBride had a season high 23 points in their win over Northwestern. Sam Smith misses the 12 footer from left of the lane. Defensive rebound, Arkansas Tech. We've played three minutes. The Wonder Boys lead five to three at Tucker Coliseum in Russellville. Cade Schaefer gets the pick from Camerad, drives into the paint, bounce pass for Cobb. One dribble, draws the defense. Sam Smith blocks the shot out of bounds. And it'll be Arkansas Tech's basketball with 15 on the timer. Cade Schaefer will throw it in. Schaefer slaps the basketball, sending his teammates into motion, lobs it into the paint for Cobb. Off target, loose ball stolen by Riley Marshall of Harding. It's a three on two the other way. Marshall layup no good. Cassius Brooks with the defensive rebound as the Wonder Boys turn away the fast break opportunity. Brooks into the front court, gets a high ball screen from Cobb, drives, bumps into Bram Harris, goes to the rim, layup no good. Brooks with the tip in. Cassius Brooks kept playing when everybody else started watching. And Cassius Brooks able to tip in his own miss to make it 7-3 Arkansas Tech. Cassius Brooks with five points in the early going. Good to see him with a fast start. Brooks was just 5 of 22 from the field in the games against Northwestern and Southwestern last week. Drive by Bram Harris, cut off by Schaefer, throws it out to McBride. Three-pointer good for Keelan McBride. McBride, a career 42% shooter from beyond the arc, and he cuts the Arkansas Tech lead to 7-6. To they run a blitz at Schaefer. He dribbles away from it, passes right wing for Taylor Peter. Talon drives the baseline, double team, steps through it, layup good. Talon Peter gets his first two points of the night. Peter averaging 19.6 points per game, which is second in the Great American Conference this season, coming off a 25-point performance against Southwestern Oklahoma State on Saturday. Talon has reached double figures in scoring 14 consecutive games, and seven of those 14 have seen him score 20 or more. Left baseline shot, no good for Sam Henderson. Defensive rebound by Sean Cobb. It remains a 9-6 lead for Arkansas Tech. Schaefer drives, draws two defenders, throws it out to Camerad. Jab step, fakes the three. Left-handed dribble drive down the left side of the paint. Stripped away by Bram Harris. Out of bounds. And the Wonder Boys will maintain possession when we come back. 15 minutes, 8 seconds remaining in the first half. Arkansas Tech 9, Harding 6. From the Alathus Realty broadcast position, it's a one-minute break. This is Wonder Boys Basketball on the EAB Sports Network. It's going to be a late night at Bill Vining Arena in Arkadelvia, but I guarantee you every person in that building is loving it right now. A double overtime game in the women's game there with one minute left in the second overtime. It's Washita 92 and Henderson State 89. Here in Russellville, we've moved on to the men's game. And Arkansas Tech with an early 9-6 lead over Harding. Cade Schaefer makes the inbound pass to Camerad. Tommy dribbles right, gives to Peter on a handoff. Talon drives, spins, shot up good for Talon Peter. Four points for Talon Peter. And it is 11-6, Arkansas Tech. Into the front court on the dribble comes Sam Henderson. Henderson's reached double figures in scoring three of his last four games. And he's made at least one three-pointer in 14 of Harding's 16 games this season. Speaking of threes, Riley Marshall knocks one down from right of center at the top of the key. The sophomore from BB, 
a 39% career three-point shooter. He had a big week last week, averaged 19 points per game in their contests against Northwestern and Southwestern, and he cuts the Arkansas Tech lead to 11 to nine. Taylor Peter, three-pointer from the right wing. Taylor Peter feeling it early on. He is three out of three from the field, seven points in the first five minutes and 40 seconds for Taylor Peter, and a lead for Arkansas Tech of 14 to nine. Top of the key, Keelan McBride, defended by Cade Schaefer, gives it left side for Sam Henderson. Henderson goes right, gives it up to Riley Marshall. New face in the game for Harding is Dylan Monroe, a 6'8 freshman forward from Highland. He averages 3.1 points and 3.6 rebounds per game. Bram Harris missed the layup, and Sean Cobb got the defensive rebound for Arkansas Tech. Schaefer in the front court, defended by McBride, shovels it out to Camerad. Tommy one dribble, then a handoff back to Schaefer. 17 on the shot clock. Schaefer defended by McBride, passes to Peter. Right wing three, will not go, but a whistle and a foul against Harding. And Taylor Peter will shoot three free throws on the foul against Bram Harris. It is Harris's first. It is the first foul of the game. And Taylor Peter to the free throw line. Taylor appearing in his 73rd game as a wonder boy, made his 54th start in the green and gold tonight. First free throw for the junior from Russellville is good. Talon, a career 82% free throw shooter, came in tonight with 1,041 career points, 31st most in Arkansas Tech men's basketball history. Second free throw is good. 353 career rebounds, 132 career assists, 120 career steals for Talon. Second in the league in scoring, ninth in field goal percentage, third in three-point field goal percentage, second in three-point field goals made, sixth in free throw percentage. A salient point as he knocks home all three of those. And he's also the GAC leader in steals, tied for 18th in the country with 2.3 steals per game. A de definite GAC player of the year candidate. And he's already got 10 points in this one as he knocks down all three free throws. And the Wonder Boys lead 17 to nine. Keelan McBride gets a look at three, it is good. Keelan McBride has hit two three-pointers, 13, 15 to go, six points for McBride. And a 17 to 12 lead for Arkansas Tech. Cassius Brooks gives it out to Camerad. Defended there by Dylan Monroe. Now it's Schaefer, he sees a seam, gets to the rim, layup no good. Camerad tried to get the offensive rebound, but it's Bram Harris who collects the loose ball for the Bisons. McBride into the front court, defended by Cassius Brooks. Hand off to Bram Harris. Harris, now Brooks takes him on a switch. Pass left side for Marshall. Marshall drives the baseline, goes in for layup, no good. Defensive rebound by Tommy Camerad. In for Arkansas Tech is Trey Allen. Allen is a six foot one sophomore guard from Russellville, 1.4 points, 1.5 rebounds. Ball deflected out of bounds by Harding. The Wonder Boys will keep it with 20 on the shot clock. Now another change for the Wonder Boys. Sean Cobb had briefly checked out. And he's right back in as Tommy Camerad will get a breather. So it's Schaefer, Cobb, Allen, Peter, and Brooks, the five for Arkansas Tech. Inbound to Cassius. Left corner three, rims out, no good. Defensive rebound by Harding as Bram Harris collects it. And the Bisons go the other way. 12-24 to go in the first half. Arkansas Tech 17, Harding 12. In front of a great crowd here tonight at Tucker Coliseum in Russellville. If you couldn't be here tonight, be here on Saturday, 1 and 3 p.m. will be the game times. Trey Allen applying pressure on Riley Marshall, forces him to fumble the ball out of bounds. Harding commits its second turnover. Sam Henderson is in. Bram Harris is out for the Bisons. So it's Trey Allen, Cade Schaefer, Cassius Brooks, Sean Cobb, Taylor Peter for the Wonder Boys, Dylan Monroe, Keelan McBride, Sam Henderson, along with Riley Marshall, and now a new face for Harding, J.T. Smith. We'll get him properly introduced in just a moment. Talon catch and shoot, right wing three is short, well defended by Sam Henderson, and rebounded by Dylan Monroe. J.T. Smith is a 6'3 senior guard for Harding. He's from Kensett, averages 4.8 points, 2.2 rebounds, and 2.8 assists. Right corner, Monroe thought about the three, instead gives it up to J.T. Smith. He drives, eight footer in the lane, will not fall. Defensive rebound by Sean Cobb of Arkansas Tech. Cobb already with three rebounds. The Wonder Boys are plus four on the glass. Brooks to Trey Allen. Allen drives, 
Ball fake, gets two defenders in the air, feeds Cobb. Cobb can't finish the layup, but he does the second time. Sean Cobb with the offensive rebound and the putback. He will shoot one free throw when we come back to Tucker Coliseum. The foul was on Dylan Monroe, his first. 11-21 to go in the first half. Arkansas Tech, 19, Harding, 12. From the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we step aside for one minute. This is Wonder Boys Basketball on the EAB Sports Network. in the paint so far for Arkansas Tech. And the Wonder Boys lead 19 to 12. Sean Cobb at the free throw line for one shot, trying to complete a three point play wrapped around the under 12 media timeout. Cobb is 18 of 33, 55% from the free throw line this season. His try is successful, nothing but net. And Arkansas Tech leads 20 to 12 with 11.21 to go in our first half from Tucker Coliseum. J.T. Smith passes right side for Keelan McBride. Back to Smith, bounce pass into the post for another Smith, Sam Smith. He works on Sean Cobb, goes up with the right-handed jump hook, no good. Cobb forced the miss, it is rebounded by Taylor Peter. Taylor already with 10 points tonight. He's into double figures in scoring for the 54th time in his Arkansas Tech career. Trey Allen fakes right, goes left, defended by J.T. Smith, 17 to shoot, finds Schaefer cutting to the basket. Schaefer kicks it out to Brooks. Brooks drives, gets two defenders in the air, bounce pass to Cobb, layup good. Harding is really being guilty of selling out on those ball fakes. They're leaving their feet awfully early, and it's leading to some easy looks for Arkansas Tech. 22 to 12, Wonder Boys. Sam Henderson gives to Riley Marshall. Marshall gives on the right side for J.T. Smith. Smith defended by Cassius Brooks. Brooks picks his pocket, and then what do we got? We got a foul on J.T. Smith. After Brooks poked it away, J.T. Smith fouled him. The foul on J.T. Smith is his first. Team foul number three, and the basketball belongs to Arkansas Tech. Taylor Peter will get a rest. He is replaced by Braden Tanner, a six-foot-one freshman guard from Dardanelle. Tanner averaging 2.4 points per game. So it's Cade Schaefer, Renard Allen the third, Braden Tanner, Sean Cobb, and Cassius Brooks, the five on the floor for Arkansas Tech. Left side, Brooks, looks at a 2-3 zone defense, gives in the corner for Schaefer, handoff Tanner. Tanner's three is too strong. Defensive rebound from the weak side by Bram Harris. Into the front court, he brings it. Defended by Trey Allen. They zip it cross court for J.T. Smith. Smith very nearly stepped on the near sideline, throws it out to Sam Henderson, out to Keelan McBride. McBride guarded by Schaefer with 15 to shoot. 9.49 left in the first half, Wonder Boys by 10. Cobb poked it away for a moment, but J.T. Smith able to save it. He feeds Sam Smith, and then the help defender, Trey Allen, commits the foul as Sam Smith went to the basket. The foul on Trey Allen is his first. It's the first team foul on Arkansas Tech. Sam Smith a little slow to get up as the Defend, the primary defender on Sam Smith, Sean Cobb, went for a steal, didn't get it. And that's what created this opportunity for Smith to get to the free throw line. Sam Smith, so far this season, is a 64% free throw shooter. First free throw is no good. Smith previously applied his trade at Delta State. He averaged 13.4 points and 10.1 rebounds per game for the Statesman last year. Before that, he was a junior college All-American at ASU Mid-South in West Memphis. He averaged 17.5 points and 11.6 
rebounds per game as a sophomore, as a freshman, he was a phenom, 19.3 points and 9.1 rebounds per game at ASU Mid-South. Missed the first free throw, the second one is good. And he'll check out, replaced by Dylan Monroe. Nine minutes, 44 seconds to go in the first half. Arkansas Tech with the basketball and a 22 to 13 lead. Pass to the right side for Cassius Brooks. Now they reverse it left side for Schaefer, into the corner for Tanner, Harding back in that zone defense. Pass across the right wing for Brooks. Brooks tries to get down the baseline. Bram Harris won't let him. Shot clock at 15. Reverse it left side for Tanner. Braden Tanner back to Cade Schaefer. Now Brooks takes it. Tanner again onto the left side for Trey Allen. He drives, gets to the rim. Reverse layup good. A nifty finish there by Trey Allen. And the Wonder Boys lead 24 to 13. Trey coming off a career high six points against Southwestern Oklahoma State on Saturday. He was three out of four from the field in 10 minutes. Drive by Sam Henderson, jump stop, bounce pass out to the left side for Dylan Monroe. Monroe dribbles to the top, passes right side for McBride. Cobb hedges, pass goes right side for JT Smith. Smith defended by Cassius Brooks, shot clock at six. Smith goes to the baseline, Brooks poked it away from him, out of bounds. And Harding will keep it with three on the timer. Tommy Camerad and Taylor Peter are in. Trey Allen and Cassius Brooks are out for Arkansas Tech. JT Smith is replaced by Riley Marshall for the Bisons. The inbound pass to be made by Keelan McBride. Gets it in right corner for Riley Marshall. Marshall pressured, gives to Monroe. He flings it up at the shot clock buzzer. No good. Defensive rebound, Tommy Camerad. Harding is four of 13 from the field. Arkansas Tech is nine of 18. Dribbling right, Schaefer, defended by Bram Harris, finds Camerad behind a Cobb screen, knocks it down. Three-pointer Tommy Camerad, and a timeout taken by the Bisons. Eight minutes and 28 seconds to go in the first half. Arkansas Tech, 27, Harding 13 from the Alathus Realty broadcast position. We step aside for one minute. This is Wonder Boys Basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Maybe you're moving some dirt around the house. You got jobs to do. Things you need to get finished. And a good look to me. It has finally gone final at Bill Vining Arena in Arkadelphia in a game they will likely be talking about for some time in the loveliest village on the Washita River as Henderson State scores the final five points of double overtime and the Ready Women defeat Washita tonight, 94-92. It was Jada Pickens with a steal and then apparently a layup pretty much at the buzzer according to the live stats to give Henderson State that 94 to 92 win. Pickens had 27 points tonight for Henderson State. We'll get you the updated women's GAC standings at halftime of this men's game with Arkansas Tech leading 27 to 13. Harding won the women's game here earlier, 64-56. Pass out to the left wing for Sam Henderson. Bison's with the ball. Henderson drives, reverse layup try, no good. Braden Tanner forced the miss. It was rebounded by Sean Cobb. Arkansas Tech the other way. Tanner left corner makes the catch. Defended by Sam Henderson, dribbles right. 21 to shoot. Tanner reverses course, drives the left baseline, poked away, stolen by Sam Henderson. Bisons have a five on four. Keelan McBride into the corner for Marshall. Three pointer is in and out, no good. And Tommy Camerad gets the defensive rebound. Wonder Boys the other way, Arkansas Tech. Right now on a 10 to one run, the Wonder Boys have made four of their last five field goal attempts. Harding has missed six in a row. 
Feed down low for Cobb, layup up and good. And the Bisons just have not been equal to the test defensively so far tonight. Arkansas Tech shooting 55% from the field and the Wonder Boys lead 29 to 13. Keelan McBride into the front court for Harding. Gives to Bram Harris. Now it's Monroe at the top. He passes right wing for Henderson. Henderson guarded by Braden Tanner. Gives to Bram Harris. Harris drives, shoots over Camerad. No good. Tommy forced the miss. Rebounded by Sean Cobb. Seven consecutive misses from the field for Harding. And the Wonder Boys leading 29 to 13. 6.52 to go until halftime. Cobb drives on Monroe. Double team arrives. Out to Tanner. On to Camerad. Fakes the three. Drives the baseline. Slam dunk. Tommy Camerad saw nobody between him and the basket, and he took advantage. Slam dunk Tommy Camerad with 6.42 to go in the half, and the Wonder Boys lead it 31 to 13. It is a 14 to one run for Arkansas Tech. Top of the key, Monroe. Passes right side for Riley Marshall. Jump stop in the lane, layup try up and good for Riley Marshall. Marshall has eight of Harding's 15 points. 6.16 to go in the first and the Wonder Boys lead 31-15. Ends a string of seven consecutive misses from the field for the Bisons. Cade Schaefer defended by Keelan McBride. Looks to drive, gets to the free throw line, kicks it out to Taylor Peter, three-pointer is short. Rebound, Cade Schaefer. Schaefer drives to the basket, layup up and good. The Bisons are doing a poor job of protecting the rim, and nobody knows that better than their head coach, Weston Jamison, and that's why he has called another timeout. Five minutes and 52 seconds to go in the first half. Arkansas Tech leads 33 to 15, back to the Alathus Realty broadcast position in 30 seconds. This is Wonder Boys Basketball on the EAB Sports Network. And at Sofa City, we have the best seats in the house. Our showroom is stocked with quality recliners, reclining sofas, and reclining sectioners, most made here in the USA. Our prizes are already discounted, and we carry a huge variety of in every style of budget. Five minutes and 52 seconds left in the first half. Arkansas Tech 33, Harding 15. It'll be J.T. Smith to bring it up for the Bisons, guarded by Taylor Peter. He gets it over the timeline with four seconds to spare. Goes to the left wing, hands it to Riley Marshall. Now they reverse it right side for Sam Henderson. Out front to Sam Smith. Now to J.T. Smith. Flashing out high, making a catch for the Bisons and then throwing it away was Davis Morgan. Davis Morgan, son of their former head coach and their director of athletics, Jeff Morgan. Davis appearing in just his fourth game of the season. He's only played 16 minutes this year, but Coach Weston Jamison trying to get a spark out of the veteran. Drive by Taylor Peter, bank shot no good. Offensive rebound, Sean Cobb. Follow try blocked by and rebounded by Sam Smith. And the Bisons bring it the other direction, down by 18. Sam Henderson on the left wing, feeds it down low for Sam Smith. And a foul is committed by Arkansas Tech's Sean Cobb. He pushed him. That's the second foul against Arkansas Tech, the first on Cobb. And Harding will throw it in from the baseline with 22 on the shot clock. Renard Allen III is back in for Arkansas Tech, otherwise known as Trey Allen. He replaces Sean Cobb. Have not seen Josh Mitchell as of yet. He is dressed out and on the Arkansas Tech bench. Inbound pass for Bram Harris. Poked away from him, out of bounds, far sideline. Last touch by Trey Allen. And the Bisons will throw it in with 19 on the timer. 5.06 to go in the first half. Arkansas Tech took the lead at 5-3 with 18.08 remaining in this first half. And the Wonder Boys have been in front ever since. Pushed the lead out with a 14-1 run midway through the half. Right baseline jumper, no good for Riley Marshall. Offensive rebound by Sam Smith. He backs Camerad down, but Camerad blocks his shot out of bounds. Arkansas Tech came into the night averaging 3.8 blocked shots per game, which is third most in the Great American Conference this season. Inbound pass to Sam Smith. He finds Riley Marshall on the left wing, 12 to shoot. Back out to Sam Smith, a little pick and pop. Three-pointer is no good. Defensive rebound, Taylor Peter. Lead pass ahead for Camerad. Camerad has it stripped loose out of bounds by Riley Marshall. Nice job there by Marshall, the lone defender back for Harding. 
And he's able to turn away the fast break opportunity from Arkansas Tech. Wonder Boys, so far in this one, leading 20 to two in points in the paint. A seven to nothing edge in second chance points for Arkansas Tech. Lobbed to the rim, Taylor Peter stuffs it through. Cassius Brooks with the assist. Taylor Peter with the emphatic finish. And with 4.29 to go in the half, the Wonder Boys are up by 20. Riley Marshall throws it out front for Monroe. Now right side for Davis Morgan. Bounce pass at the right elbow for Bram Harris. He dribbles to the opposite elbow, throws it out left side for J.T. Smith, nine on the shot clock. Drive by J.T. Smith, scoop shot no good, followed by Monroe no good, and a foul is called against Arkansas Tech's Taylor Peter. Taylor's first is the team's third. Crowd doesn't like it, but he got him. And it'll be Dylan Monroe to the free throw line for Harding. Monroe had five points, and he matched his season high with seven rebounds against Northwestern Oklahoma State on Saturday. Monroe came in averaging six rebounds per game over his last four. Free throw up and good for the Highland High School graduate. Cade Schaefer in, Braden Tanner out for Arkansas Tech. And a second free throw forthcoming for Dylan Monroe, who with that last make is now two out of five at the free throw line this season. Make it two out of six and a foul against Davis Morgan on the rebound. He gets his first personal foul. And the basketball belongs to Arkansas Tech with 4.06 to go in the half. Fourth team foul on the Bisons. Cade Schaefer, Trey Allen, Cassius Brooks, Tommy Camerad, and Taylor Peter will go to work offensively for Arkansas Tech. Schaefer passes right wing for Cassius Brooks. Camerad flashes out, he makes a catch. Gives it to Cade Schaefer on a handoff, back to Tommy. He dribbles inside the arc, shoots from 17 feet. It rattles out, no good. Trey Allen with the offensive rebound. Out to Schaefer, on to Taylor. Three-pointer, nothing but net from left of center at the top of the key for Taylor Peter. 15 first half points for Taylor Peter and a 38 to 15 lead for Arkansas Tech. 38, 16, I should say, my apologies. I failed to write down the Monroe free throw a moment ago, 38, 16. Poked away from Davis Morgan, loose ball, Cassius Brooks out of there with it, fast break to the rim, gives to Peter, layup will not go, defensive rebound by Bram Harris of Harding. It remains a 38 to 16 Arkansas Tech lead with 3.16 to go in the half. JT Smith with it for Harding. Dribbles right, defended by Trey Allen. Throws it out in the corner for Riley Marshall, three pointer good for Riley Marshall. Marshall came in the hot hand. He was 13 of 26 from the field in their two games last week. He has continued that good play here tonight. 11 first half points for Riley Marshall. 38 to 19 is now the Arkansas Tech lead. Right side, Taylor Peter, bounce pass into the post for Camerad. Camerad bounce pass to Trey Allen. He shovels it out left corner. Brooks, three pointer good. Arkansas Tech is five out of nine from beyond the arc and the Wonder Boys lead it 41 to 19. It is all Arkansas Tech so far in this one. J.T. Smith guarded by Cade Schaefer. Drives, we've got a reach in foul against Cade Schaefer of Arkansas Tech. It is Cade's first, it is the team's fourth, and there's timeout at Tucker Coliseum. Two minutes, 28 seconds remaining in the first half. Arkansas Tech 41, Harding 19 from the Alathus Realty broadcast position. It's a one minute break. This is Wonder Boys Basketball on the EAV Sports Network. Hi, this is Mike Terrell with Jerome Center, Medicare Specialist of Arkansas, here to remind you of the importance of winning an injury. Things change over the course of time, things can affect your time. It's important to make sure you have proper coverage. Give us a call today at 479 857 2810 for a free review of your life, health, or medical coverage. Jerome Center, Medicare Specialist of Arkansas, 479 Realty with years of experience, knowledge, and a network of relationships, they ensure you get the most for the house. So when it comes time to put that property on the market, or if you're looking for that next green property, and the professionals of 
Two minutes, 28 seconds to go. First half, Arkansas Tech 41, Harding 19. Breaking the huddle for Arkansas Tech. Sean Cobb, Trey Allen, Cassius Brooks, Taylor Peter, and Cade Schaefer. For Harding, Dylan Monroe, Bram Harris, Sam Henderson, Keelan McBride, Riley Marshall, and making the inbound pass, it'll be Keelan McBride. Their fifth contestant is Sam Henderson. It's Henderson who takes the handoff from Bram Harris, gets downhill with a left-handed drive, feeds Monroe, layup up and good for Monroe with 2.21 left in the half. The Monroe bucket cuts the Arkansas Tech lead to 41 to 21. Cade Schaefer passes right side to Taylor Peters, drives the baseline, zips it out to Allen, on to Schaefer, right wing three is too strong. Sean Cobb fights for the offensive rebound, gets it, a held ball is called, and the possession arrow will favor Harding, but that does nothing to detract from some outstanding work on the offensive glass there by Sean Cobb. That was some toughness right there. Cobb has seven points and seven rebounds in the first half. A minute 56 to go in the first half. Arkansas Tech in control right now, 41 to 21. Riley Marshall dribbles to his right, gives to Bram Harris. Harris will try a three, it is no good. Taylor Peter gets the defensive rebound. 15 points, four rebounds in this first half for Taylor Peter. Sean Cobb, 22 to shoot, passes left side for Cade Schaefer. Schaefer, right-handed dribble drive into the paint, 10-foot jumper, no good, off to the right. Defensive rebound by Dylan Monroe of Harding. A minute 26 left until halftime. Keelan McBride into the front court, defended by Cade Schaefer. Passes left side for Sam Henderson. Henderson goes right, gives it up to Monroe. Three-pointer is no good. Defensive rebound, Cassius Brooks. Brooks one on two, splits the double team and lays it in. Cassius Brooks with 10 first half points. Timeout Arkansas Tech. One minute and eight seconds remaining in the half. Wonder Boys lead 43 to 21. Back to the Alathus Realty broadcast position in 30 seconds. This is Arkansas Tech basketball on the EAB Sports Network. So call 219-5438 or visit 1415 East Main Street. Mr. Break and Move, your one-stop maintenance shop. Tommy Camerad, Cade Schaefer, Cassius Brooks, Taylor Peter, and Sean Cobb, the five for Arkansas Tech. The Wonder Boys will set up full court pressure here. Harding with the basketball. Wonder Boys in the lead, 43 to 21. Keelan McBride in a spot of trouble. Runs a little give and go with Sam Henderson to get it over the timeline. Now the Bisons get into their half-court set. Riley Marshall, left wing, passes top of the key for another new face in the game. That is Robert Hugaz, a six-foot-nine senior forward from Athens, Greece. Hugaz averaging 1.3 points per game. Three-pointer no good from the top. Hugaz gets the offensive rebound, dribbles out near midcourt, and gives to Keelan McBride. They swing it right side for Marshall. Marshall drives. Brooks cuts off his penetration and then fouls him. On the shot, Marshall gets it to go. An eight-footer from right of the lane for Riley Marshall. And Marshall will head to the free throw line in search of his 14th point of the first half. He has 14, or I should say right now he has 13 of their 23. Braden Tanner replaces Cassius Brooks in the Arkansas Tech lineup. The foul on Brooks was his first. Team foul number five against Arkansas Tech. No wonder boy has more than one foul here in the first half. Riley Marshall cannot complete the three-point play. And Taylor Peter gets the defensive rebound off the missed free throw. 29 seconds left in the half. Pass deflected out of bounds. And Arkansas Tech will maintain with 26.3 seconds left in the half and 23 on the shot clock. It'll be Taylor Peter to throw it in. Arkansas Tech 17 of 33, 52% from the field in this first half. Meanwhile, Harding just 30% from the field. Arkansas Tech plus nine on the glass. Two second difference between the shot clock and the first half clock. Cade Schaefer dribbling just inside the timeline, defended by Keelan McBride. Cobb sets the ball screen. Schaefer goes right, steps back for three. It is good! Cade 
Schaefer with the three-pointer from the right wing. McBride from 45 feet at the buzzer, no good. And it is all Arkansas Tech at halftime as the Wonder Boys are doubling up the Bisons after 20 minutes. Our score at Tucker Coliseum is Arkansas Tech 46 and Harding 23 from the Alathus Realty broadcast position. We step aside for three minutes. This is Arkansas Tech basketball on the EAB Sports Network. If you pay for your own health insurance or you're looking for coverage, do not go online. For quotes, you get endless calls from call centers and they will not stop. Instead, call Becky, the health plan lady. She can provide sound advice for your health insurance needs. Her freedom of choice plans lets you pay your doctors. No deductibles, no copays, and it's 30 to 60% lower costs than Obamacare. Call Becky at 479-886-2475 or ABC Children's Academy is currently enrolling with 14 locations in Pope Johnson and Yale County. ABC provides all-day child care, as well as a variety of enrollment options for families, including Arkansas Better Chance for ages 3 to 5, plus more. Visit abcchildrensacademy.com for more info, and come by their central office on 4th Street in Russellville to apply in person, or call 567-5650. ABC Children's Academy, changing our world one student at a time. Well, the folks at Arkansas River Valley Game are going to take just a moment to not only thank you for your business, but also the opportunity to work for you and give your family a Halftime at John E. Tucker Coliseum in Russellville, and those of us wearing green and gold are all smiles because the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys enjoy a 46 to 23 lead over the Harding Bisons. Here are the numbers. Harding is eight of 28 from the field, 29%, including five of 12, 42% from three point. The Bisons two out of five at the free throw line. Arkansas Tech, 18 of 34 from the field, 53%, including six out of 11, 55% from beyond the arc, and the Wonder Boys have made all four of their free throws. Arkansas Tech has a 24 to 14 rebounding edge. Harding with five assists and five turnovers. Arkansas Tech with eight assists and just two turnovers. The Wonder Boys leading 24 to four in points in the paint and 10 to three in second chance points. To put it more succinctly, it has been total domination through the first 20 minutes by the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys. Individual leaders first for Harding. Riley Marshall has 13 points. He's five of 10 from the field and three of five from three point range. Then it's Keelan McBride with six points. Dylan Monroe has three and one point for Sam Smith. 
Arkansas Tech led by Taylor Peter with 15 points in that first half. Taylor was five of nine from the field. He also grabbed five rebounds. 10 points in the first half for Cassius Brooks, Cade Schaefer, and Sean Cobb had seven points apiece. Cobb's seven rebounds lead all players so far. Trey Allen with two points. Braden Tanner also appeared in the first half for the Wonder Boys, and Arkansas Tech leads it 46 to 23. Back to the Alathus Realty broadcast position in three minutes for a look at what else is happening in GAC basketball. This is Wonder Boys basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Burris at NT Market reminds you that the new year is like spring, a season of change. And if your office furniture hasn't changed in a while or you need a total office remodel, NT Market provides expert advice to give you inspiration, plus products ranging from quality sophisticated furniture to more economical products for the builder, homeowner, architect, or designer. NT Market is your local leader that offers professional furniture installation and delivery. NT Market, your make your office like new, plus more store. Taking care of families. That's what the folks at CD Drugstore have been doing in historic downtown Russellville for more than six decades when it comes to all your pharmaceutical needs. When it comes to compounding special medicines, Arden Walker and his staff are there to serve you. And most importantly, if you need delivery, if you need curbside pickup, you need CD Drugstore on the corner of Vegan Commerce in downtown Russellville, a 60 year tradition. Time at Tucker Coliseum in Russellville. I look over to my right and I see a familiar face, Marty Barnes, who was the head men's basketball coach here at Arkansas Tech from the late 80s to the late 90s. And one of the greatest coaches in the history of Arkansas Tech men's basketball led the Wonder Boys to the 1995 NAIA National Tournament semifinals. Coach Barnes among those here tonight. And I'm sure he is enjoying this performance so far by the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys as they lead Harding by a score of 46 23. Taking a look elsewhere around the Great American Conference first earlier tonight. These are final scores in women's play earlier tonight. It was Harding 64 and Arkansas Tech 56. UA Monticello defeated Southern Arkansas 72 to 63 in double overtime. It was Henderson State 94 and Washita 92 on a Jada Pickens bucket at the buzzer in double overtime to win it for the Ready women. Also, final scores in women's play, Southeastern Oklahoma State 59, East Central 46, Southern Nazarene 63, Oklahoma Baptist 46, and Northwestern Oklahoma State 66, 
Southwestern Oklahoma State 52. So the updated GAC women's basketball standings at the midpoint of the conference season. 11 conference games down, 11 to go. It is Southern Nazarene ranked fourth in the country, setting the pace, 17 and 0 overall, and 11 and 0 in the Great American Conference. One game back is the Harding Lady Bisons, ranked 14th in the country. Harding now 15 and 2 overall, and 10 and 1 in the league. Nationally 23rd ranked Northwestern Oklahoma State bounces back from its tough road trip to Arkansas last week, gets the win over Swasu, and so the Northwestern women now 16 and three overall and eight and three in the league. They are in sole possession of third. Sole possession of fourth belongs to Henderson State. The Ready women 11 and six overall, seven and four in the league. Sole possession of fifth place belongs to Southwestern Oklahoma State. The Lady Bulldogs are nine and eight overall and six and five in the league. And then you've got a three-way tie for sixth place between Arkansas Tech, Washita Baptist, and Oklahoma Baptist, all of which have a five and six conference record. And right now, that is the cut line midway through the conference season. Still a long way to go, but the midpoint, that's the cut line to make the GAC tournament. Everybody below them, Southern Arkansas, East Central, UA Monticello, and Southeastern Oklahoma State would all be out. And so the Golden Suns will enter the second half of conference play with just a one game edge over Southern Arkansas in a race for a spot in the postseason. And so still work to be done for the Golden Suns in the second half of the double round robin conference schedule. Now taking a look at men's games in progress around the Great American Conference. Coming into the night, the Wonder Boys were in first place in the league standings, one game in front of Southeastern Oklahoma State. And the Savage Storm has its hands full tonight. 16-38 remaining in Ada, Oklahoma. And Southeastern Oklahoma State leads East Central 45 to 44. Those will be the Wonder Boys and the Golden Suns opponents when we go back on the road next week, Southeastern and East Central. Elsewhere, Southwestern Oklahoma State leads Northwestern 45-39 early in the second half. Halftime in Shawnee, it's Southern Nazarene 38 and Oklahoma Baptist 30. Early in the second half at Steelman Fieldhouse, Southern Arkansas leads UA Monticello 35 to 32. And because of that double overtime women's game, they're just getting underway at Vining Arena, Henderson State with an early six to four lead over Washita. Here it's the Wonder Boys in front, 46 to 20, not 23, at the Alathus Realty broadcast position. We pause for three minutes and then come back with the second half. This is Arkansas Tech Basketball on the EAB Sports Network. that are resulting in damaged equipment, stained ceilings and walls. Then don't let Mother Nature get the best of your business. The folks at ENF Roofing offer free commercial roof inspections, but their experience is a priceless for your business. Not to lose productivity and extend the life of your roof. So contact ENF Roofing today for a free commercial inspection at 479-272-4069. Belkner's Athletes Corner Trips is now in progress. Save up to 30% off footwear from Nike, Asics, Brooks, New Balance, Keen, and Chaco. Save 30% or more on apparel from the North Face, Columbia, Patagonia, Mountain Khaki, Kavoo, Under Armour, Nike, and many more. Feltner's Athletes Corner, 2320 West Main Street in Russellville. Open 930 to 6, Monday through Saturday. All sales during this special savings event are fine. Running a business, a household, or just everyday life can be hectic. The last thing you want to have to think about is banking. At First State Bank, we focus on providing you with financial tools and exceptional service you need. So you can focus on what really matters. Whether it's managing your business from the sidelines, or making life fun, a little smoother, convenient, and flexible financial solutions, we've got your back. Get back to business and life. We'll take care of the rest. First State Bank. Liberty Car Wash in 
20 minutes of basketball remaining tonight at Tucker Coliseum in Russellville. The Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys enjoy a 46 to 23 lead over the Harding Bisons. And Arkansas Tech gets the basketball to begin the second half. Cassius Brooks gives top to keeper Taylor Peter. Hand off to Cade Schaefer. Schaefer guarded by Keelan McBride. Pass to the free throw line for Peter. He looks down low, feeds Tommy Camerad on the right block. Camerad backs Bram Harris down, goes in for the layup try, no good. Defensive rebound by Dylan Monroe of Harding. And it'll be Keelan McBride to bring it up for the Bisons. Checked at the top of the key by Cade Schaefer. 19-27 left in the game. Wonder Boys by 23. Drive by Sam Henderson. Taylor Peter recovers, blocks the shot, rebounded by Sean Cobb. Into the front court comes Cade Schaefer. Schaefer, crossover dribble, gets away from Henderson, shoots for three, no good. Rebound is controlled by Sam Henderson of Harding University. Henderson in the front court, pinned it on his hip twice, got away with it, and then lost it out of bounds on the far sideline. I think Henderson may have injured his left hand on that layup try. He's been grasping at it ever since. But he's going to stay in the game for now. 19 minutes left. Arkansas Tech leads 46-23. Cassius Brooks with it at the top, hands it off to Schaefer. Cade dribbles right, Keelan McBride giving chase. Zip pass down low for Cobb, layup up and good. Tommy Camerad with the assist, Sean Cobb with the finish. And very little resistance offered by the Harding defense once Cobb caught that ball in the paint. And that's why Arkansas Tech tonight has been able to build a 26 to four edge in points in the paint. Top of the key, Bram Harris with it for the Bisons. Throws it across for Riley Marshall. Marshall has been a bright spot here tonight for the Bisons. Keelan McBride with the basketball, hit a couple of early threes and has not been able to do much since then offensively. Right side, Harris misses the 16-footer. And Arkansas Tech out of there with the defensive rebound. Cassius Brooks with the basketball. Cassius had 10 points in the first half. Pulls up left of the lane, misses the 12-footer. Offensive rebound, Sean Cobb. Throws it out to Camerad. Tommy for three, it is no good. Offensive rebound, Cassius Brooks. And the Wonder Boys will reset offensively. Out it goes to Schaefer. Schaefer guarded by McBride. Under 18 minutes to play, Wonder Boys by 25. Cassius dribbles right to the free throw line, cut off there by Marshall. Out it goes to Camerad. Spin move around Harris, layup good, and a foul. Graham Harris got lost on the spin move, and then when he tried to recover, he committed the foul, sending Camerad to the line for a three-point play opportunity. The foul on Bram Harris is his second. And it'll be one free throw for Tommy Camerad, who will head to the free throw line in search of his eighth point of the night. Camerad, a career 83% free throw shooter in his time at Arkansas Tech, misses this one. And Monroe has the defensive rebound for the Bisons. 17.41 to go, Arkansas Tech leading 50-23. Bison's back to work offensively. They are 0 for 2 from the field so far in this second half. Left side, Sam Henderson off the dribble, tries a three and got it. Sam Henderson with his first three points of the night. 17-26 remaining. And it's 50 to 26, Arkansas Tech. Right side, Taylor Peter throws it across to the left wing for Cassius Brooks. Now Schaefer takes it, guarded closely by Keelan McBride. Hand off back to Peter. Taylor passes it into the post for Cobb. Cobb finds Schaefer in the lead. Cade drives, left-handed scoop shot, no good. Defensive rebound by Bram Harris of Harding. McBride goes to the right wing on the Bison's offensive end. Passes to Harris. Now Bram Harris on to Riley Marshall. Shot clock at 18. Marshall drives, bank shot, no good. Whistle foul on Arkansas Tech. Two free throws upcoming. Foul on Cassius Brooks is his second. Team foul. Number one this half, and Riley Marshall to the free throw line where he is 0 for 1 so far tonight for the Bisons. Marshall, an 84% free throw shooter on the year. First one is good for Riley Marshall. 
Marshall has really stepped up his production this year for the Bisons, averaged just 5.2 points per game last year as a freshman. This year, 14.7 points per game, which is 10th in the Great American Conference. He's also top 10 in the league in three-point field goal percentage, three-pointers made, and free throw percentage. He's ninth in that category and shows it by making two in a row there to cut the Arkansas Tech lead to 50 to 28, but not for long. Cassius Brooks with the three-pointer from the right side. Cassius is three out of four from beyond the arc tonight. And his 13 points have helped Arkansas Tech build this 53 to 28 lead early in the second half. Riley Marshall defended by Tommy Camerad, wants to drive, gets to the left elbow, and a foul committed by Taylor Peter. Taylor trying to poke it away, instead got him across the arm. It is Taylor's second. It is team foul number two this half. And Sam Henderson will make the inbound pass for Harding, but not before Sam Smith checks back in. Smith started the game for the Bisons, did not start the second half. Dylan Monroe replaced him among their starting five to begin the second half. Inbound to Sam Henderson. Out front it goes to Bram Harris. Now it's Marshall losing the handle, stolen by Sean Cobb. Harding commits its seventh turnover. Schaefer into the front court. Cobb on a pick and roll, goes to the basket, pass to him. Defender flies by, layup good. 16-04 remaining, 55-28. And the Bisons will not enjoy the film breakdown of their defense at the rim here tonight. Keelan McBride over the timeline for the Bison. Defended by Cade Schaefer. 30 points in the paint now for Tech and a chance to add to it here as Cassius Brooks gets the steal, goes the length of the floor, left-handed layup, no good, whistle foul, and Cassius will shoot two free throws. When we come back, the foul is on Sam Henderson, his first, and there's timeout on the floor. 15 minutes and 40 seconds remaining. Arkansas Tech, 55, Harding, 28. From the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we pause for one minute. This is Wonder Boys Basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Arkansas Tech, four out of nine from the field this half, 44%, now shooting 51% for the game. Arkansas Tech is seven of 14, 50% from three-point range. Harding continues to struggle, nine of 31 from the field, 29%. They have hit six threes, though. Cassius Brooks to the free throw line after the under-16 media timeout. He makes the first of two free throws. Cassius, a 71% free throw shooter, and this his first season at Arkansas Tech, he gets them both. 15 minutes, 40 seconds to go. And Arkansas Tech leads 57-28. It'll be J.T. Smith to bring it up for the Bisons. Hands it off to Keelan McBride. McBride guarded by Cade Schaefer. Sam Smith sets the pick. McBride drives, floater in the lane, gets the roll. Keelan McBride with eight points. His first point since early in the first half, though. And it's 57-30. 2-3 zone defense for Harding. Not real sure how successful a zone is going to be against Taylor Peter. We'll find out here in a second. Taylor takes the handoff. They do come out on him, wisely so. Pass in the corner for Cassius Brooks. Feed down low for Cobb to Camerad. Jumper up and good from 12 feet right of the lane for Tommy Camerad. As Tommy proves there's more than one way to beat a zone. Matter of fact, there are a lot of ways to beat a zone. 59 to 30. 29-point lead for Arkansas Tech, and there's a steal by Cade Schaefer. Ahead for Taylor. Peter to the rim, reverse slam dunk. Taylor Peter with 14.45 left. Taylor has 17, and the Wonder Boys are all over him. 61 to 30. Blocking foul called on Cassius Brooks. 
as he tried to take the charge. Instead, he's called for the block. It's Cassius's third personal foul. And Braden Tanner will check in for Arkansas Tech. Braden asking who you want me to get. It'll be Cassius. And I believe we have a timeout called by Harding. 14 minutes and 37 seconds remaining. Arkansas Tech 61, Harding 30. From the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we step aside for one minute. This is Arkansas Tech basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Why trust River Valley Tinting and Glass? Well, River Valley Tinting and Glass is a family-owned business, and they take care of their customers, but a family too. So remember, your local auto, residential, and commercial glass and tinting company, River Valley Tinting and Glass. Check out their work on Facebook or call or you can always come by 2202 East 2nd Street to see all they can do for you. And from a business you can trust, River Valley Tinting and Glass. minutes 37 seconds to go Arkansas Tech 61 Harding 30 the Bisons will have the basketball following the timeout Harding now just has one timeout left for the balance of the game inbound to JT Smith bounce pass was kicked they say by Taylor Peter and so the Bisons will keep it with 25 on the shot clock They'll throw it in from the baseline with Keelan McBride Receiving the honors of throwing the basketball inbounds. Does so to J.T. Smith. Smith gives it left side for Riley Marshall. Marshall goes right, finds Graham Harris cutting down the right baseline. Out to J.T. Smith for three. It is good. J.T. Smith with the three from the left wing. His first three points of the game. 14 minutes and 17 seconds remaining. And the Arkansas Tech lead is 61 to 33. Taylor Peter with the basketball. Passes top of the key for Tommy Camerad on to Schaefer. Schaefer uses his dribble, gives to Braden Tanner. Tanner, guarded by Riley Marshall, gets to the free throw line, throws it back out to Taylor Peter. Taylor gets downhill, gets to the rim, layup, no good, but a whistle and a foul. And two free throws upcoming for Taylor Peter. Foul is on Bram Harris, that's his third. And Taylor Peter to the free throw line where he is three out of three tonight. Taylor has scored 20 or more points in his Arkansas Tech career 17 times. He has 17 points so far tonight, so he's closing in on an 18th 20-point game. As a member of the Arkansas Tech dance team, wipes up the perspiration and receives a nice round of applause from her teammates on the dance team. The official says, you're not done yet, brings her back. Now Taylor and Tommy will go over and help out with their shoes, kind of kicking at the, the floor. I'm not sure this is ever a really effective exercise, but it looks like you're helping. Now Sean Cobb joins. Cade, you gonna get in on this? Nope, Cade thought about it, now he will back away. He realized that is a futile exercise. And now, with the perspiration apparently sufficiently dried, Taylor Peter will shoot his free throws. Taylor receives the basketball. The first shot is up and good. Nothing but net for his 18th point of the night. Arkansas Tech is seven of eight from the free throw line. Davis Morgan returns for the Bisons. And Taylor Peter ready with the second of his two free throws. He got them both. And Taylor Peter now with 19 points on the night. He will get a breather as Renard Allen III is back in with 13.55 remaining. And 63-33 is the Arkansas Tech lead. Into the front court comes Riley Marshall. Hands it off to J.T. Smith. Smith guarded by Allen. Looks to drive, gets into the painted area, kicks it out for Davis Morgan. Left corner three is no good for Morgan. Defensive rebound, Trey Allen. Outlet pass for Cade Schaefer. Cade over the timeline, checked by Keelan McBride. Gives in the corner for Camerad. He was fouled on the three. Davis Morgan 
committing his second foul and sending Tommy Camerad to the free throw line for three shots. Camerad, appearing in his 48th game as a Wonder Boy, made his 43rd start in the green and gold tonight, coming off a 22-point performance against Southwestern Oklahoma State on Saturday that matched his career high in scoring. Makes the first of three. He was eight of 11 from the field and five of seven from three-point range on Saturday. Played a season-high 38 minutes. Second free throw is also good. He's got one more. Tommy, top eight in the GAC this year in field goal percentage and three-point field goal percentage. He has 11 points tonight, giving him now 443 for his Arkansas Tech career. Make it 444. As Tommy gets all three of those, Camerad checks out, replaced by Cassius Brooks. 13-29 remaining. And the three out of three trip to the free throw line for Camerad gives Arkansas Tech a 66 to 33 lead. Drive by Keelan McBride, cut off by Cade Schaefer. Shot clock at 20. Over to JT Smith. Smith fighting with Cassius Brooks as they made their way to the basket. And a 50-50 call goes the way of the Bisons as they say Cassius Brooks got him across the arm. JT Smith was also fervently pushing off all the way to the basket. It is Cassius Brooks fourth personal foul inbound to JT Smith three pointer no good from the left corner defensive rebound Trey Allen he gets rolled up on by Sam Smith Smith commits the personal foul. It is team foul number five on the Bisons Smith is out replaced by Dylan Monroe. So it's Trey Allen Cade Schaefer Braden Tanner Cassius Brooks and Sean Cobb for Arkansas Tech Keelan McBride Davis Morgan along with Riley Marshall, J.T. Smith, and Dylan Monroe for the Bisons. Arkansas Tech leading 66-33 as we go under 13 minutes to play. Braden Tanner made the catch on the left wing, feeds it down low for Cobb. Cobb ill-advised bounce pass, trying to get it to Trey Allen, but it went instead right to Davis Morgan. Arkansas Tech commits just its third turnover of the game. J.T. Smith gives to Monroe at the free throw line. Monroe turns to face the basket, misses the 15-footer. And J.T. Smith deflects the rebound out of bounds to Arkansas Tech. Taylor Peter is back. Cassius Brooks will check out. And it'll be Cade Schaefer to receive the inbound pass from Trey Allen. Arkansas Tech shooting 53% for the game, 55% here in the second half. Cobb slips the ball screen, goes to the right elbow. Pass goes right wing for Braden Tanner from Cade Schaefer. Now Trey Allen flashes out, makes a catch. Gives left side for Schaefer. Back to Allen at the top of the key. Trey defended by Davis Morgan. Takes him to the basket. Left-handed layup good and a foul. A three-point play opportunity for Trey Allen as he was able to beat Davis Morgan off the dribble. Morgan picks up his third personal foul in the process. And Trey Allen to the free throw line in search of his fifth point of the evening. 12-14 remaining. The free throw is in and out and hangs on the rim and goes through. Everything going Arkansas Tech's way tonight. And it is 69-33 Wonder Boys with 12.09 to go. Five points for Trey Allen. Cobb hard hedge on the screen and it leads to a turnover as J.T. Smith's pass deflected, stolen by Cade Schaefer. Lobs it to the rim, alley-oop! Alley-oop with 11.56 to go and that'll just about do it. Coach Weston Jamison of Harding wants a timeout, but I feel like we've picked our winner here tonight at Tucker Coliseum with 11.54 to go. Your score is Arkansas Tech 71, Harding 33 from the Alathus Realty broadcast position. We step aside for one minute. This is Arkansas Tech basketball on the EAB Sports Network. There's no waiting. 
at Sofa City, where you can buy it today and enjoy it tonight. Casey, Jason, Darknell, Russellville. Yeah. You guys play the best country of all. River Country. Come on. KCJC. If you're wearing a jersey for Arkansas Tech, you might want to start getting loose pretty soon if you're on the bench because the Wonder Boys seem to have this one well in hand with 11.54 to go. It should be a chance down the stretch for some of the bench guys to get some minutes. And Arkansas Tech leading 71 to 33. Pass to the top of the keeper, Monroe. Dylan Monroe gives it right side for Davis Morgan. Now Riley Marshall with it. Left elbow jumper good for Marshall. Marshall has 17 points. Almost half of Harding's total, and with 11.30 to go, it is 71 to 35, Arkansas Tech. Right side, Taylor Peter holds the basketball. They swing it left side for Schaefer. Schaefer feeds it down low for Taylor. Taylor makes the catch and is fouled from behind by Riley Marshall. Marshall with the push. It is his first personal foul, and Taylor Peter back to the free throw line. Already 21 points tonight for Taylor giving him now 1,062 for his Arkansas Tech career. Taylor is currently 31st in scoring in Arkansas Tech history. First free throw up and good for Taylor. When you look down the list and see who is next that he will be chasing down, 30th on that list is Chad Keister, who had 1,099 points for the Wonder Boys from 1990 through 95. Chad played for head coach Marty Barnes, who is just to the left of the Arkansas Tech bench up in the seats here at Tucker Coliseum enjoying this game tonight. Very Always good to have Coach Barnes in the building. Bounce pass for Davis Morgan cutting to the basket. Couldn't handle it as it bounced over his hands and out of bounds for a Harding turnover. So to wrap a bow around that little story, Chad Keister with 1,099 points and Talon Peter with his total tonight of 23 currently sits at 1,064 points. So he needs 36 more in order to move into the top 30 scorers in Arkansas Tech men's basketball history. He will likely achieve that maybe, maybe not this week, maybe next week on the trip to southeastern Oklahoma State and East Central. We'll see. Eight on the shot clock. Left corner three by Tanner is no good. Defensive rebound by Riley Marshall of Harding. 10.35 to go. Arkansas Tech leads 73-35. Drive by Marshall out of balance shot. No good from the left side of the lane, but they've got Trey Allen with the foul. Allen picks up his second personal foul. And it'll be two free throws for Riley Marshall with 10 and a half minutes to go. Cassius Brooks will check in for Arkansas Tech momentarily. Riley Marshall to the line, where he is two out of three tonight. And now he is two out of four. Marshall with 17 points on the night, six away from matching his season and career high. He had 16 points against Northwestern on Saturday. He had 22 points a week ago against Southwestern Oklahoma State. Makes the second one, goes one out of two. 10 minutes, 30 seconds remaining. And it is 73-36 Arkansas Tech. Taylor Peter throws it across to Braden Tanner on the right side of the floor. Handoff for Cassius Brooks who just checks back in. Scramble for the loose ball. It's going to result in a held ball between Braden Tanner and a new face in the game for Harding. Wyatt Gilbert checked in just a few minutes ago. He is a 5'11 junior guard from Mountain Home. Gilbert averaging 1.5 points per game. Gilbert had his career high against Arkansas Tech of nine points last year. And these two programs met in Searcy. Pass deflected by Braden Tanner. Sam Henderson able to get it for the Bisons. Left corner for Riley Marshall. Out to Gilbert. Gilbert behind the back dribble. Shovels it out to Marshall. Marshall fakes left. Goes right. Pass is deflected by Tommy Camerad. Stolen by Cassius Brooks. Harding commits its 12th turnover of the night. Arkansas Tech is plus eight on the turnover margin. Hand off right side for Talon Peter. Now to Cassius Brooks. Feeds it into the post for Tommy Camerad. Camerad spins around Monroe, draws a double team, gives to Allen, cutting down the baseline. Trey is fouled on the way up, and he will shoot two free throws, and he will head to the free throw line with a chance to establish a new career high in scoring. Trey with five points and three rebounds so far tonight, also an assist. His current career high of six points was established just last Saturday against Southwestern Oklahoma State. He misses the first free throw, though. 
So the best he'll be able to do is tie that career high. In for the first time tonight for Arkansas Tech, it is Bronson Smith, a six foot three junior guard from Piedmont, South Carolina. Smith averaging two points per game for Arkansas Tech, appearing in his seventh game of the season. Taylor Peter checks out with 23 points and five rebounds. That may very well be the last we see of Taylor tonight. As he'll have a chance to rest and get ready for that three o'clock game on Saturday against UA Monticello. I'm telling you right now, this Wonder Boys team is putting together something special. They'll be nine and two in conference play after night. Tonight, they'll be in sole possession of first place in the conference standings midway through the league season. If you're not on the bandwagon yet, now would be a good time to jump on. We'd love to see you here Saturday afternoon. Women's game at one, men's game at three. Tickets at ArkansasTechSports.com slash tickets. Just $5 for adults, $3 for students and senior citizens. Arkansas Tech faculty and staff and students are admitted free of charge. So we hope to see you Saturday afternoon right here at Tucker Coliseum. Not a lot of home dates in February. Only three home dates in February for the Arkansas Tech basketball team. Right-handed dribble drive by Riley Marshall. Stripped away and stolen by Braden Tanner. Fast break opportunity for the Wonder Boys. Gives to Camerad. Tommy lays it up and in. Tommy Camerad with the transition bucket off the Braden Tanner assist. And it is 76-36 Arkansas Tech. Now it's almost a steal by Trey Allen. Pass was deflected high in the air, and when it came down, Trey had his toes on the near sideline when he caught the ball. So it'll stay with Harding. 30 seconds on the shot clock right now. Now they put it at 26. Sean Cobb is in, replacing Camerad. Keelan McBride is back for the Bisons, replacing Riley Marshall. And some of the players further down the Arkansas Tech bench are starting to think about tightening those laces and taking off those warm-up tops. Drive by Sam Henderson, jump stop in the lane, a whistle and a foul against Arkansas Tech. They're going to say he was on the way up. Hack across the arm is the call on Braden Tanner. Braden gets his first personal foul, team foul number seven. This will be two shots for Sam Henderson, who's at the free throw line for the first time tonight. Henderson, a 71% free throw shooter on the year. First try is good for Henderson. Sam Henderson, a career 72% shooter, appearing in his 70th game for the Bisons, came in with 571 career points. The senior out of Fort Worth, Texas. Ready with the second one, it is also good. And the score is 76-38 with 8.38 to go. Cassius Brooks will bring it up for Arkansas Tech. Cassius Brooks, Trey Allen, Bronson Smith, Sean Cobb, and Braden Tanner are the five on the floor. Brooks with it, top of the key, passes to Trey Allen, back to Brooks on the right side. Brooks gets to the right baseline, cut off there by Hugaz. Throws it out to Sean Cobb. They reverse it left side for Tanner. Eight to shoot. Tanner, bounce pass out to Brooks. Cassius defended by Wyatt Gilbert. Three to shoot, behind the back dribble, lost it. He'll have to force it up at the buzzer. It's an air ball and a shot clock violation for Arkansas Tech. The basketball belongs to Harding with eight minutes and six seconds to go. And Arkansas Tech firmly in control of this one. The Wonder Boys took control with a 14 to one run midway through the first half. That gave Arkansas Tech a 31 to 13 lead with 642 remaining in the first half. Hugaz for three, no good. Defensive rebound by Trey Allen and DeBiro Austin has not been a competitive situation since then. The Wonder Boys pulled away to lead it 46 to 23 at halftime. And Arkansas Tech has been very comfortably in front throughout this second half. Trey Allen with it, drives. Draws a double team, poked away by J.T. Smith. Loose ball on the far side of the floor is out of bounds, off Harding, and the Wonder Boys will have it when we come back. Seven minutes and 29 seconds remaining. Arkansas Tech 76, Harding 38 from the Alathus Realty broadcast position. It's a one minute break. This is Wonder Boys basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Seven nine 
800-857-2810-479-857-2810. Johnny Story in with a thought from a Lathis Realty. With years of experience, knowledge, and a network of relationships, they ensure you'll get the most for your house. So when it comes time to put that property on the market or begin looking for that next green home, Checking the Great American Conference men's basketball scoreboard. They're down to the last two minutes at the Pioneer Cellular Event Center in Weatherford. And Southwestern Oklahoma State has a 66-64 lead over Northwestern Oklahoma State. We'll get you more scores as we go along. Cassius Brooks with the basketball for Arkansas Tech and a shot clock violation against the Wonder Boys. We'll give it back to Harding with seven minutes and 20 seconds to go. Braden Tanner, Cassius Brooks, Bronson Smith, Trey Allen, and Sean Cobb are the five for Arkansas Tech. Sam Henderson, Keelan McBride, J.T. Smith, Wyatt Gilbert, and Robert Hugaz for the Harding Bisons. Hugaz gets it on the right wing. Hugaz, a transfer from Northwestern State, Louisiana. Three-pointer no good for Wyatt Gilbert. And Sean Cobb gets the defensive rebound for Arkansas Tech. Seven minutes to go. Pass to the top of the key for Trey Allen. Drives the left side of the paint, gets into the lane. Six-footer is short. Offensive rebound, Cobb. Out to Bronson Smith for three. Off the glass, no good. Offensive rebound, Cassius Brooks. Back to Smith. Smith drives the baseline, draws a double team. Dribbles away from it. Gets back out to the free throw line. Gives to Braden Tanner. Tanner penetrates. Fadeaway jumper is short. Cobb tips the rebound out, and it's controlled by Robert Hugaz of Harding. 6.32 to go. Pass left side for Sam Henderson. Three-pointer no good. Defensive rebound, Trey Allen. Allen ahead to Bronson Smith. Right wing three is good for Bronson Smith. Smith joins in on the party. His first three points of the night is his fourth three-pointer of the season. Six minutes and 11 seconds to go. And Arkansas Tech leads 79-38. Pass for Wyatt Gilbert. Gilbert fadeaway jumper is good from left of the lane. And it'll be Cassius Brooks to bring it up for Arkansas Tech. Wyatt Gilbert with his first two points of the game. Brooks passes left side for Allen. Allen drives, gets all the way to the cup. Shot rejected by Hugaz. And the Bisons rebounded it and go the other way. Pass in the corner for Sam Henderson. He drives the baseline. Layup up and good for Sam Henderson with 535 to go. And it is 79-42. Back-to-back buckets for the Bisons. Trey Allen hands it off to Braden Tanner. Tanner gets downhill into the lane. Lost the handle on the way up. And Sam Henderson with the loose ball for Harding. Five minutes, 15 seconds to go. J.T. Smith sees an opening. He drives, poked away out of bounds. And the Bisons will keep it with 23 to shoot. In for the first time tonight for Arkansas Tech. It is Isaac Ragland. Ragland is a six foot five junior forward from Valley Springs. Isaac appearing in his second game of the season. Inbound pass comes to the right side for Corbin Mora, who is in for the first time for Harding, as both coaches going fairly deep into the bench now with the outcome of this one decided. Corbin Mora for Harding is a six foot seven redshirt freshman forward from Rogers, Arkansas. Wyatt Gilbert was fouled. The call was against Bronson Smith, his first personal foul. Gilbert makes the first free throw. He'll have another try. Gilbert appearing in his 43rd game for the Bisons here tonight. Got them both. Gilbert with four points, one away from matching his season high. 79-44 Arkansas Tech. Braden Tanner in the front court, guarded by Gilbert. Clock has not started. Got to start the clock, Troy. Troy, want to go home, Troy? Troy, we got to start the clock. Braden Tanner shoots from 16 feet. It's in and out, no good. Still haven't started the clock. Offensive rebound, Bronson Smith. Still haven't started the clock. Bounce pass to Trey Allen. Troy, I want to go home tonight. Layup is going to be waved off. A foul on the floor committed by Harding. And we'll see if the officials notice that no time ever came off the clock there. I don't think they will. And this game will just end up being about 40 minutes and 30 seconds long, which is okay. It's fine. 
no big deal. Trey Allen to the free throw line. Don't want to make a habit of it, though, because we do eventually want to go home. Allen misses the free throw. And it is 79-44. Score remains a 35-point lead for Arkansas Tech. Clock did start this time. Good news. Left side, J.T. Smith. Zips it down low for Wyatt Gilbert. Gilbert is fouled by Trey Allen. Coach Downey not overjoyed with the way his team is finishing up this game right now. He's going to keep coaching them hard to the finish line. I guarantee you that. The foul will send Wyatt Gilbert back to the free throw line for a one and one opportunity. Gilbert is a career 80% free throw shooter for the Bisons. This is a one and one. The front end is good as Gilbert matches his season high with five points. We'll have another opportunity here with 4.55 remaining. Gilbert's second free toss is also good. That's a new season high for the junior guard from Mountain Home. 79-46, Arkansas Tech up by 33 with 4.47 to go. Braden Tanner hands it off to Trey Allen. Now Bronson Smith takes the basketball, gives to Tanner. Tanner goes right, passes to Smith on the left wing, 12 to shoot. Bronson gets downhill all the way to the rim, right-handed layup, up and good for Bronson Smith. Five points for Bronson Smith three away from matching his season and career high. And it's 81-46, Arkansas Tech pass out of bounds on the near sideline. Hope everybody in the front row is okay. Looks like they are. I see nothing but laughs over there. So I think whoever caught that pass was ready for it. 81-46, Wonder Boys with the ball and a 35-point lead after Harding's 14th turnover of the night. Trey Allen out front to Sean Cobb. Cobb has had a fine game tonight, a double-double, 11 points, 11 rebounds, left corner three, Bronson Smith, it's good for Bronson Smith. He's got eight points, matching his career high, and it's 84-46, Arkansas Tech. Ninth three of the night for the Wonder Boys. Wyatt Gilbert, speaking of threes, knocks one down from the top of the key. Gilbert has matched his career high with nine points. Correction, they may have only given him two for that. Scoreboard's only showing two, so he may only have eight now. Haven't put it in the official stats yet. Now they correct the scoreboard to a three, so it was a three-pointer, and it is nine points for Wyatt Gilbert, matching the career high of nine that he had against Arkansas Tech last season. Bronson Smith fakes right, goes left, gives to Tanner. Left corner three is short. Rebound is over the top of the backboard to Harding, and there's timeout on the floor. Three minutes and 18 seconds remaining. The Wonder Boys yeah. on their way to their 13th victory of the season, leading 84-49 back to the Alathus Realty broadcast position in one minute. This is Wonder Boys basketball on the EAV Sports Network. If you paint Mr. Your Lincoln Lube wants you to know when it comes to your engine, not all motor oils are created equal. That's why they only offer name brand motor oils that you can trust, like Pennzoil, Castro, Mobile One, and more. So don't pay top dollar for cheap generics. Mr. Brake and Lube can work your vehicle pretty much bumper to bumper, plus complete auto glass service. So call 219-5438 or visit 1415 East Main Street. Mr. Brake and Lube, your one-stop maintenance shop. If you pay for your own health insurance or you're looking for coverage and not the one like the quotes, you'll get endless calls from call centers and they will not stop. Instead, call Becky, the health plan lady. She can provide sound advice for your health insurance needs. Her freedom of choice plans lets you pick your doctors. No deductibles, no copays, and it's 30 to 60 percent more cost than Obamacare. Call Becky at 479 886 2475 or go to health plan. Arkansas Tech 84, Harding 49. The Wonder Boys will improve to 13 and 4 overall, 9 and 2 in the Great American Conference. Halfway through the double round Robin League schedule. In for the first time tonight for Arkansas Tech, Johnny Close, 6'4 junior forward from Rockford, Illinois. Also in for the first time tonight for Arkansas Tech, it is Will Yokely, a 6'5 junior forward from Fayetteville. Left side, Davis Morgan with the basketball for the Bisons. Gives it up out front for J.T. Smith. Wilbert, Gilbert right wing, catch and shoot for three, no good. And Bronson Smith has the defensive rebound. It's Bronson Smith, Braden Tanner, 
Johnny Close, Will Yokely, and Isaac Ragland, the five for Arkansas Tech with under three minutes to go and a 35-point lead. Johnny Close will try a three. It is no good from right of center at the top, and the defensive rebound is controlled by Dylan Monroe of Harding. Gilbert into the front court. Pass is deflected and stolen by Will Yokely. It's a run out for Yokely, and he missed the layup. He was halfway in between a layup and a slam dunk, and he did neither. Harding gets the rebound, goes the other way. Bronson Smith deflects it out of bounds to take away the fast break opportunity. I'm looking around to see if Will's dad, Derek, is here tonight. I imagine he will probably have some words for his son on that one. <laughs> Inbound pass. If you're not familiar with, with Derek Yokely, he's a former Wonder Boy himself and is the MC for the Arkansas Tech Athletics Hall of Fame banquet each year and does a very good job of that. Left side, Wyatt Gilbert with it. They reverse it right side for Davis Morgan. Foul committed by the aforementioned Will Yokely. And it will send Dylan Monroe to the line for a one and one. Yokely's first with two minutes and 12 seconds to go. Monroe's first free throw is good, earning him a second try. That is Monroe's fourth point of the night. A freshman from Highland, Arkansas, six feet, eight inches tall. A second try for Monroe is also good, and it is 84 to 50, Arkansas Tech, with 2.09 to play as Braden Tanner brings it over the timeline. Checked by Wyatt Gilbert, hand off to Johnny Close. Bronson Smith takes the basketball, gives it back to Tanner. Tanner, 18 to shoot, under two minutes to go now. Left corner, Johnny Close, three-pointer good. The 10th three of the night belongs to Johnny Close. And Arkansas Tech leads 87 to 50. Gilbert, right elbow jumper is good. Wyatt Gilbert with a new career high in scoring. That's 11 points for him. And Braden Tanner brings it up for Arkansas Tech. 87 to 53 is now the score. Smith gives left side to Ragland. Ragland drives, feeds Yokely, and this time Will with the finish. He lays it up and in this time, no doubt on his intentions the second time around. And that makes it 89-53, Arkansas Tech, with one minute and 11 seconds to go. Feed down low and a slam dunk for Harding's Corbin Moore. As we hit one minute to go. And it is 89-55. Ragland hands it off to Bronson Smith. Johnny Close gives it to Tanner. Braden Tanner gives to Close on the right side. Fakes right, goes left. Now shoots a long two. It is good for Johnny Close. And he's got five points. 91 to 55 is the score. The end of the front court. Three-pointer for Gilbert. Good again for Gilbert. 14 points now for Gilbert. He has put up some numbers here in garbage time. And it's 91 to 58. Tanner over the timeline gives to Ragland. And the Wonder Boys will allow the final 18 seconds to disappear as the Wonder Boys earn their sixth win in their last eight meetings with the Harding Bisons. Our final score tonight from Tucker Coliseum in Russellville in front of a great crowd. We'll hope to see you back here on Saturday afternoon. Final score today, Arkansas Tech. 91 and Harding 58 from the Alathus Realty broadcast position. We step aside for 30 seconds and then come back with the health plan lady post game show and Coach Downey Wonder Boys win. This is Arkansas Tech basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Back with you.
you at Tucker Coliseum in Russellville, where the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys have improved to 13 and four overall and nine and two in the Great American Conference. They will maintain their one game lead for first place in the GAC standings. Southeastern Oklahoma State went to Ada tonight and defeated East Central 78 to 69. And so the Wonder Boys go to nine and two in the league. Southeastern Oklahoma State one game back, eight and three in conference play, midway through the conference slate. And then out in Weatherford, one second left. Swasu is in front of Northwestern Oklahoma State, 73-72. That could drop Northwestern Oklahoma State another game off the pace. And we could be looking at a two-horse race between Arkansas Tech and Southeastern Oklahoma State going into the second half of conference play. There's still a long way to go and a lot of road tests coming up for the Wonder Boys as they'll only have three home games during the month of February. But still one more home game in January to come on Saturday afternoon, 1 and 3 p.m. will be the game times on Saturday when the Cotton Blossoms and the Bull Weevils from UA Monticello make their way to Tucker Coliseum. And now Mark Downey, the head men's basketball coach at Arkansas Tech, is going to make his way over. First, he's going to get a, a handshake and a hug from Dr. Tom DeBlack, Professor Emeritus of History here at Arkansas Tech and longtime former faculty athletic representative. And coach, I'm sorry, I think I got, there you go. You should be better now. I had your, your mic cord stuck there for a second. Now we got you. Well, you talk a lot about paint touches. And there in the first half, you were able to consistently get the ball into the paint. 42 points in the paint here tonight. And that, it just felt really crisp here tonight offensively. Yeah, we felt like we could really execute against them. You know, sometimes when you got a new coach and doesn't, doesn't quite know your system. And, you know, I remember battling Lenny Acuff, and it was like, gracious, we can't run anything because he, he can't run anything, you know, because we had been around each other so much. Yeah. And then Jeff Morgan was the same way, but we felt like, you know, we could, and Weston will get it there, and there's oh, no yeah. doubt about it. Yes. He's going to do a good job. Um, but we felt like we could get it to execute our stuff and get it to a few sides and make plays. And, um, you know, he's, he's got a group that can really score, and they just didn't have a great night, and we had a really good night. So um, they're going to be fine. But. Um, I, I was really proud of the way we executed. Guys shared the ball, made the extra pass. Uh, we were good in transition, and uh, we really defended. That's where we start. I mean, if we defend, we usually play pretty well. We've talked about the evolution of this team, and when I look at the stats, I see Cassius Brooks tonight with 15 points and six rebounds, five of eight from the field, and I see Sean Cobb with 11 points and 11 rebounds. As those two guys settle into the roles that they had tonight, if, if that's going to be the case moving forward, if they can show that level of productivity, this can be a tough team to beat. Yeah, it is. It is. I mean, if, if we just, you know, our depth is taking a little bit of a hit, so we've got to get some guys step up like we've talked about before, and then some other guys got to, you know, be a little bit better offensively. And I told Cash right after we broke out of the huddle at the beginning of the game, like, you remember the first three games we had this year, you, our scrimmages, like you were balling, you were hooping, man, just go hoop. And he but broke hit open, yeah. hit a three, <laughs> first possession. Yeah. So um, he listened to me and, um, you know, hopefully we can continue to get that production from him because he can, he can score and he can do some things. And really proud of Sean Cobb. I mean, I didn't even think Sean played unbelievably tonight. I, he missed some easy ones early. Um, but he, you know, he really went after the ball and rebounded it. Um, he could be a great, great player for us. Um, he's really skilled. He's such a good kid. He's a smart kid. And um, I'm just glad that, you know, he got a double-double tonight and really helped us win. Well, you have mentioned a few times how it feels like everybody comes in here on a winning streak. Right now, UAM's in a bit of a battle with Southern Arkansas, but if they can get that one, uh, they'll come in here on a three-game winning streak on Saturday. It, so it's just kind of the same song next verse as, as teams come in here hot and uh, just got to be able to rise to the challenge again with a quick turnaround on Saturday. Yeah, I mean, it does. It seems like everybody comes in here on a winning streak. So um, we've got to continue to protect home court. We've got to take some of this momentum that we played with tonight, um, confidence that we played with tonight, and, and bring it Saturday. Saturday will be a game where it's grinded out. I mean, it always is with UAM. They're going to run that triangle offense, and they're really going to make you guard them. And, you know, honestly, we couldn't guard their two best players last time we played. And both those two guys are, I think they're one and three in uh, points per game in the conference right now. So, you know, obviously we'll have to guard those two guys. We won't have BJ this time. Um, so we'll have to, you know, it'll, it'll be a tough preparation tomorrow and uh, hopefully get these guys ready for Saturday because uh, the good thing about it is we did get some guys some rest tonight. Yeah. So that always helps. But um, it'll be a fun one to get on Saturday. Crowds are getting a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger. We just, you know, come see these guys play, man. They were really fun to watch tonight. Um, they're a really great group and uh, 
it's it's a good time here in Tucker. You know, when when the fans are starting to get into it, there's a few telltale signs. I saw a young man over here had signs he was holding up, kind of uh, having some fun with the Harding bench. And then when you get a legend like Marty Barnes, former coach no of the Wonder Boys in the building, when the former coaches start showing up, when the fans start holding up signs, that's a, that's a sign that folks are getting into it. Yeah, no doubt. I, I walked over and thanked Marty for coming before the game. He doesn't make it back to Tucker very much. And, you know, he's a legend, and I'm just honored to follow someone like him. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Like as always, I'm blessed to do what I do and blessed to coach this group. So blessed to coach this group. It's so much fun to coach them, and um, it's an honor. Thank you. Thank All glory you. to God. That is Mark Downey, the head men's basketball coach at Arkansas Tech University. As the Wonder Boys win it tonight by a final score of 91-58, to 58. let's take a look at the final numbers here on the Health Plan Lady Post Game Show. Harding was 18 of 49 from the field. That's 37%, including 9 of 23, 39% from three-point. And the Bisons were 13 of 17, 77% at the free throw line. Arkansas Tech, 33 of 64 from the field, 52%, including 10 of 21, 48% from three-point. And the Wonder Boys were 15 out of 18, 83% at the free throw line. So 52% from the field, 48% from three-point, and 83% from the free throw line tonight for Arkansas Tech. That is some pretty good shooting. Arkansas Tech out-rebounded the Bisons by 10, 38 to 28. Harding had eight assists and 15 turnovers, a better than three to one assist to turnover ratio tonight for Arkansas Tech. 19 assists and just six turnovers. That is rare to see that kind of ratio for the entire team. Arkansas Tech outscored them 16 to nothing in points off turnovers, 42 to 10 in points in the paint, 12 to three in second chance points, and 16 to seven in fast break points. A thorough domination of this night by the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys. Individual leaders for Harding, it was Riley Marshall with 18 points, and then Wyatt Gilbert had 14 points to establish a new career high for himself. Also scoring tonight for Harding, Keelan McBride had eight points, Sam Henderson with seven, Dylan Monroe had five points and seven rebounds. Two, three points tonight for JT Smith, two for Corbin Mora, and Sam Smith with one point and four rebounds in this one. Arkansas Tech led by Talon Peter, Great American Conference Player of the Year candidate Talon Peter with 23 points and five rebounds. He was seven of 11 from the field. He did it again, more than twice as many points as he had field goals attempted. That is the mark of efficiency in Talon Peter again tonight. He was two out of four from three point. He was seven out of seven from the free throw line. Talon Peter with 23 points to lead the way. It was Cassius Brooks with 15 points, six rebounds, two assists, no turnovers, three steals. It was Tommy Camerad with 14 points and five rebounds. Sean Cobb in his second start of the season had 11 points, 11 rebounds, three assists tonight for Arkansas Tech. Bronson Smith off the bench with eight points. Trey Allen matched his career high with six points. He also grabbed five rebounds, dished out two assists and made two steals tonight for Trey Allen. Cade Schaefer, with seven points, one rebound. He matches his career high with eight assists and no turnovers tonight for Cade Schaefer from the point guard spot. Johnny Close had five points. Will Yokely with two, should have been four. Isaac Ragland and, T Brand and Braden Tanner also appeared in the game tonight for Arkansas Tech as the Wonder Boys win this one by a final score of 91 to 58. Let's take one last look at the GAC men's basketball scoreboard, a final score from Shawnee where Southern Nazarene clips Oklahoma Baptist 73-72. We told you Southeastern Oklahoma State beat East Central 78-69 as the Savage Storm remains one game behind. First place Arkansas Tech in the GAC men's standings. Northwestern does indeed slip another game off the pace as the Rangers go to Weatherford tonight and fall 75-72. Southwestern Oklahoma State with the win there. And so Northwestern really falls back into a big group now in that six and five, five and six area. A lot of teams in that range right now in the conference standings. And Arkansas Tech and Southeastern Oklahoma State separating themselves at the front of the pack. Nine seconds left at Steelman Fieldhouse. UA Monticello has a 65-61 lead over Southern Arkansas. And in Arkadelphia, it's gonna be a long night at Vining Arena. They had a double overtime game in the women's game that Henderson State won at the buzzer, 94-92. And in the men's game, they still got 16 minutes left in the second half. And it's Washita's men 48 and Henderson State 38. Here in Russellville, a split decision. Harding took the women's game 64 to 56. But in the nightcap, it was the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys improving to 13 and four overall and nine and two in the Great American Conference. Now nine and one here at Tucker Coliseum this season.
as the Wonder Boys win it tonight by a final score of 91 to 58 over the Harding Bisons. We send along special thanks to the athletics communications professionals from these two institutions of higher learning, Daniel Gallegos from here at Arkansas Tech and the legendary Scott Good from Harding University. Those folks, along with Eric Moyer, provided us with all of the facts and figures we were able to share with you tonight. We thank brother Stephen Berry, who did a spectacular job as always as our chief studio engineer. We thank the many sponsors who make it possible. And thanks to you for listening, our next broadcast of Arkansas Tech Athletics on the EAB Sports Network will come your way Saturday afternoon as the UAM Cotton Blossoms and Bull Weevils are coming to town 1 and 3 p.m. Saturday. Get your seat right now at ArkansasTechSports.com slash tickets and join us here on the EAB Sports Network. Until Saturday at 1 p.m. for my broadcast partner, Kelly Davis, I'm Sam Strasner reminding you that Jerry says fight on. So long, everybody. Arkansas Tech University back.